हेलो एंड वेलकम एवरीवन माय नेम इज़ रेश मुखर्जी इन माय चैनल यू गेट आई सी सी आई एस सी इंग्लिश लिटरेचर एंड इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज टॉपिक्स दोज हु रिक्वेस्टेड मी फॉर द सी बी एस ई कंटेंट डोंट वरी आई विल ट्राई टू स्टार्ट दैम एज सुन एज पॉसिबल बट आई एम नॉट गेटिंग मच टाइम दैट इज़ द इशू बट येस इन द वेबसाइट यू विल फाइंड सम कंटेंट्स अपलोडेड एंड आई सी सी आई एस ई फॉर यू ऑल्सो लॉट ऑफ रिटर्न कंटेंट इज ऑलरेडी पब्लिश्ड ओवर देर डू चेक इट इट विल हेल्प यू अ लॉट इन योर एग्जाम now what we are doing is we are doing the long answer questions as i told you there will be three videos on i know why the caged bird sings you will have mcqs you will have long answer questions and you will also have the figures of speech that will more or less uh, um, round up your preparation and if you are ready you can prepare from here you can see how far you are ready if you are not prepared if you think that मैम के चैनल से भी तो आई हैव हर्ड बट आई इट नथिंग वेंट मैंने आई एम स्टिल कन्फ्यूज ओके और आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू मेमोराइज सो मच यू कैन जस्ट सिंपली प्रैक्टिस द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम देयर ऑल्सो सी दिस इज ऑफकोर्स नॉट द बेस्ट ऑप्शन इफ इट इज पॉसिबल जस्ट सी द लिसन टू दिकॉर्ड द रिकॉर्डेड द पोएम एक्सप्लेनेशन वीडियो फ्रॉम देयर प्रिपेयर सी द नोट्स एंड देन कम हियर एंड प्रैक्टिस बट इफ यू कैन नॉट इट्स बेटर कि लाइक यू नो इट्स नॉट always too late right so you can do one thing you can just follow the questions uh, at least understand the questions so that you can at least write them a bit because this is a very important poem right what is the first question asking you what is the central metaphor of the poem very very important you can never skip this question the central metaphor so you know the whole poem is based on an extended metaphor right it is an extended metaphor in which the whole poem is written what metaphor it is uh, talking about birds the free bird or the caged bird right so we can say that the central metaphor of the poem is the comparison between the free bird and the caged bird the bird is actually a symbol of the uh, either the, uh, the the free bird is a symbol of the american and how they oppress the african americans and the caged bird they are the oppressed ones they are the african americans and women being a woman um maya angelou was doubly marginalized because she was a woman and also an african american and therefore she was doubly deprived and she represents herself as the caged bird and that's why it becomes an autobiographical poem so from one question we get two answers even if it is asking identify the poem as an autobiographical poem you are going to write something like this other than that you also have my notes in the channel you can use that and how is it developed throughout the verses so throughout the verses we see the style right once talking about the free bird free bird once talking about the caged bird once again free bird again caged bird why this so that it is a contrast like if you wear a white shirt and a black trouser it will be of high contrast but imagine if you are wearing a white shirt and an off white trouser the, the, the is distinction from far it will it will seem that you are wearing everything which, which is white so so that the contrast is huge so that people can understand the troubles the trauma the caged bird the african americans were facing without any rights not even voting rights were given to them so in that case the style of writing the format of writing the poem is also important in which she pointed out the distinct difference between the two okay <clears throat> how does the free bird's experience differ from that of the caged bird now the free bird and the caged bird you have to write the free bird experienced uh, you know how in the first stanza we saw they were flying they claimed the sky it was a extend it was a hyperbole that it can claim the sky it can call the sky its own so you'll write all those things only it it, it does not have to think about freedom things like freedom it is thinking about another breeze it is thinking about a fat worm but the caged bird its feet are tied wings are clipped and it is doubly marginalized and in such a situation there is no other way it can just walk in that small place in the cage and therefore scream out loudly sing a song so that people understand the plight they are facing right next question what does the act of leaping on the back of the wind symbolize for the free bird leaping on the back of the wind it is just like claiming the sky its own the whole sky is my own area i can move anywhere i want right so what does this mean the act of leaping on the back of the wind symbolizes the free birds unrestrained freedom important word unrestrained freedom okay and ability to navigate the world without any hindrance nobody can stop it it can just claim the sky its own it conveys a sense of joy a happiness limitless possibilities limitless hope limitless capabilities that's it that's your answer next how is the see i have also before i uh, i am telling you the answers i have also written the answers down at least the points 
okay so uh, it is important you don't you can't see it but it is written as notes in my mobile so it is important that you also at least take this much trouble to sit with the paper write the points down so that you can frame the correct answer you know what will give you mark what will fetch you marks it is just points you will not write in points but if you know the points if they see relevant points in your answer your teacher is bound to give you marks so write down the points that i am telling you how is the theme of freedom portrayed in the poem okay so various forms the question can come can be posed in various forms all those fo forms we are discussing here what is the theme of how is the theme of freedom portrayed in the poem what is what are we supposed to write the theme of freedom is portrayed through the contrasting experience the first answer i told you the style one caged bird one free bird one free bird one caged bird one free bird one caged bird why so that the contrast is stark and people understand the plight of the caged bird and the immense amount of freedom that the free bird has okay so um, the free bird enjoys the freedom to explore it can do anything it can claim the sky it can name the sky its own while the caged bird expresses its yearning it's just yearning for that freedom just wishing for that freedom but its wings are tied feet are clipped so it has nothing else to do it can just sit and be angry and suffer and then sing so that people come to know about their problems and those are tried to be solved okay first four questions i think these are easy you could answer you can answer them if this comes as your see all these are 3 to 4 marks answer you will be given an extract and then these questions can come as your 3 4 3 4 3 4 aise karke so i have not given you the extract because it, it is a wastage of time i have just given you the important questions which you will be 100% sure that if i know why the cage bird sing this poem comes you will see one or two question in your paper so at least 4 5 6 7 seven marks say um, 10 marks you are assured ki you will get it from here only so don't waste the time it is a single class in which i am giving you the important questions more or less so uh, you can of course prepare from here okay next question number 5 what is the significance of the caged birds bars of rage okay this bars of rage what is this actually meant okay bars means what when you have those when in the prison they have those bars no in front so you cannot cross them you cannot come out if you want i want to go party i want to have biryani nobody will allow you right if you are inside the prison cell uh, so this bars of when you are inside it what will you feel you will feel angry that is why it is bars of rage so it signifies the emotional turmoil isn't it emotion it is a kind of emotion when you are angry that is an emotion and frustration experienced by the caged bird completely frustrated i don't want to stay here but i am bound to stay here because i can't escape this situation it suggests the confinement is not only physical but emotional also in various ways it wishes it is despairing for liberation it wants to be free desires liberation but it is not provided okay next how does the caged bird express its longing for freedom how does it express how what tells you that Uh, the free bird actually uh, sorry the caged bird actually longs for wishes for that freedom the caged bird expresses its longing for freedom it opens its throat to sing even when it is doubly deprived it opens its throat to sing it tries its uh, to reach its voice far and wide so that people come to know about their problems and a solution comes up okay second of all although if it is a four mark answer also add this that also although he has no idea what will happen once it is free like imagine those who were the servants uh, you know the african americans mainly they were treated like you know the media the odd jobs only they could do so these people they worked as servant as slaves this and that so once they are free once they are not owned by people they have their own rights and everything what work can they do now they are neither educated okay they can't go and work in a proper place they don't have that education so what will they do there is of course fear but still they wish for that freedom so after class 12 if, if i tell you that if your mother tells you that no you can't go outside you sit at home and we will give you pizza we will give you biryani whatever you want mobile phone we will give you but you will see at one point of time you be, initially you will be very excited that okay i don't have to work i'll get everything but the reality is soon after some time you will feel worried you will be distressed you will you would want to go out you want, we would want to meet your friends possibly you will fall in love and there you would you would want to meet your lover so you will not be allowed to do that so that is not what you want you want a person any any uh, living body wishes freedom the most all right so that is what they are demanding 
and uh, even if they are afraid that what would happen once they are free still they wish it fearful thrill remember that is your answer with the sixth number seven what emotions are conveyed through the imagery of the caged bird standing on the grave of dreams imagery that they stand on the grave of dreams another very very important question you can put three four stars this also there is a possibility a uh, kind of 80 percent possibility that this question exact same question will be there in your paper what will be the answer what emotions are conveyed through this uh, imagery of grave of dreams we can say the imagery that the bird is standing on the grave of dreams grave matlab a place for the dead that means the dreams are dead so the dreams are already dead possibly they have felt that um, we will not be able to be free ever see those the middle aged ones the old people they know that possibly we will die and we will not get freedom we will die like this only in captivity okay but still they are singing okay uh, caged birds standing they are standing on the grave of dreams so they are in a situation where it is completely a no hope condition so we can say it is a it is a sense of loss despair burial of unfulfilled inspiration aspirations and it suggests that the birds dreams have been completely shattered they, they it has been crushed by the weight of captivity okay that is the image next question the last one for today how does the poem explore the idea of voice and expression in the face of oppression in the face of oppression do you think the bird is the caged bird is not oppressed of course it is, the bird is oppressed Things, feet are tied wings are clipped that is oppression but even then it is opening its throat to sing to try out any possibility which is open to it okay so this trial is what this is kind of an expression to uh, to express oneself even when there is a lot of captivity there is a lot of oppression by the free birds by the americans just like during the colonization the britishers they oppressed us so much but even then people spoke up people you know uh, revolted people protested so that is what the african americans also did so that is all about the oppression and the um, you know the use of voice speaking up against the um uh, the against the oppression if you don't speak up you will never get anything if you don't say that if imagine your school is giving you just 15 minutes of recess so you will have to speak up that in 15 minutes should i go to the washroom should i wash my hands should i have my food what should i do that is not ample time so you have to speak up against it otherwise you are not going to get it okay so that capability we see in the caged bird so that is going to be the answer question of question number 8 so we have done eight questions long answer subjective questions possibly if these you are done with more, more or less you have done 80% of the chapter rest few questions are still left possibly we will do when we practice the papers if you want to come up with questions you can send it to me don't worry i'll of course answer them in the channel only okay uh, i may if if they are short answer type questions i can try to i will try to upload it in the um short video also so send it and you already know the telegram channel you can join it the whatsapp channel link is also given in the description box okay the videos i post you will get updated about it and don't forget that you can of course uh, share your question papers your doubts in my mail slotskill.contact@gmail.com if you think that this has helped you don't forget to share it with your friends as many friends as possible Uh, so that i can come up with new videos for all of you and you also benefit accordingly thanks so much bye bye see you in my next class which is on figures of speech from the same poem right